had dirt and rest here. Uh, finally got to go to the flea market today. Um, it's been a while, but it was a great day. Nice and sunny out. And uh, I found a few items. So here we go. First, I found this uh, interesting knife here. And check it out. So it's like a hunting fishing knife. It's got the scaler. But if you uh, look here, it's got a few other gadgets on it. So it's got a... Actually, I don't even know what that is right there. But I mean, this part's a file, but I'm not sure what this part of it is. Maybe it's for cleaning your fingernail tips, I don't know. Uh, and it's got a little saw. And a corkscrew. It's in pretty rough condition, but I think I could clean it up a little bit. Um, what else here? Let's see. Can I get that out of there? Ugh. Okay. And then like a little reamer. Um, this is, let's see. Let me check the tang on this real quick. says Decora, let's see, Decora Solingen, Germany, and something else, I can't make it out. But anyway, I got this, uh, basically I got it for $7.50. It was paired up with the next knife I'm going to show you, and I got them both for $15. But I don't think you see many out there like this, so I had to get that one. Um... This is the knife I got along with it. It's a pretty small kind of hunting knife, a western. Let me see if we can get in on the tang on there. It's this pretty sweet little knife. So those two were 15 bucks. Okay. And I got this rope knife. Oh, banged up but the uh, maker I've never heard of Jerlak stainless from Poland anybody ever heard of that I haven't okay can opener bottle opener and this is for loosening the knots Not knife. Okay. And next, I don't know why I paid three dollars for this, but you know it's been a while since I've been to the flea market, so I just grabbed this. Um, it says nickel. I guess that means nickel. Inox. So. Nickel and stainless steel, I guess. I don't know. It's it needs some work. It's needs some oil. But yeah, okay. And all these tools you see here, I got for four bucks. Probably a lot of them are worthless, but uh, you know, like I said, it's been a while since I've been to the flea market, and I thought, what the heck. Let's see what I have here so uh, I got I think this is for putting screens in if you get a rip screen you got to repair it you put a new screen in, and it's the tool you would use got uh, some uh, wood drills eh. Just knickknacks so far. Huh? Let's see here. 
This does it have a this one says Warner. I'm not sure what this is. Anybody know? Let me know. Some pruning scissors. Uh, don't know what this is. Oh, well, maybe it's for opening uh, paint cans. And a variety of wrenches. I don't know if any of these are interesting here. Nothing really to write home about. Uh, that one's interesting. L E E. L E E 1A. I like that one. Mm. That's kind of neat. High bar. Made in USA. Unscrew. Sharples. That's kind of interesting. Mm. Nothing to write home about on these. True fit. Every once in a while, you can you'll find a a good one in a pile of wrenches, and uh, some of these you look them up and you can get fifteen twenty dollars for one wrench. Not that one. What's that say? Sorry, guys, I'm taking a long time. I I gotta let me look at this with my glasses. Okay, this one says Fairmount Cleveland, or Cleve. Now that's an interesting one to me. That might be collectible. Mm, nothing. Bar. Bar cold. I think that's it, guys. Okay. Oh, 1350. That's kind of interesting. Oh uh, yeah, so that's my haul. Thanks for watching. Bye.